The world of graphic design is changing pretty fast, and so are the free tools that are being used to make new and exciting graphic designs. But instead of falling behind, you can actually learn about some really useful tools in our graphic design industry that are making huge waves and huge changes. First up, something you've probably heard about already, and that's ChatGPT. Sure, this thing can tell me how to make a cake with easy to follow instructions, or maybe how to write a 500 word apology in a matter of just a few seconds. But how can graphic designers actually benefit from this thing? Firstly, whenever you're making a mock-up or a design that uses lorem ipsum placeholder text, instead you can just use chat GPT to write, say for example, 100 words about computer science. And bingo, you have some placeholder text that is not only relevant, but also grammatically correct. Also, you can use ChatPT to write graphic design briefs, emails to potential clients, contracts, and so on. For contracts, emails, and briefs, and so on, I suggest you use this as a kind of a baseline and then expand upon it in your own words. Next up, something that's kind of like multiple different design tools mixed into one huge thing, and that is HotPot AI. I am going to give some blunt opinions on artificial intelligence in the design world at the end of today's video. There's a lot of heated, angry, and worried designers robots out there. Robots took my Damn jobs. AI, AI is art theft. But right now, check this out. Hotpots has an art generator like Dali or Midjourney, a custom head generator, a tool that removes objects from backgrounds, something that writes content, a picture colorizer, a background remover, picture restorer and upscaler, art personalizer, whatever that is, a language translator, a color scheme generator, an icon resizer, and while we're here, free icons. I mean, why not? And finally, a file converter. It doesn't take a genius to see how this is gonna be helpful for designers. And I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what the future holds for this kind of tool. Is it a future that is positive or one where I want to actually be in? Which we will get to later. But yeah, for now, let's check this out. Namelix is a great tool for those who want to come up with a relevant brand name for their company. Or if you're working on a client who is starting a new brand, you can also use this maybe to think up a website domain name, a social media account name, and so on. Basically, you just type in relevant keywords to the business so here, let's say I'm launching a clothing brand that wants to sell urban style clothing. You can then choose the kind of style names you want, maybe just in real words, or maybe just a totally made up word that's not in the dictionary. But let's shoot for all styles. And I like to use a low randomness on this selection here. And that's so everything remains targeted to the business and the keywords. And then lastly, we need to put in a sentence that describes what the business does. And scrolling through the results, of course, there's going to be some obvious misses and mishaps, but there are some really decent ones actually, such as maybe this one here. Or what about this one for an urban style clothing brand? And as I said earlier, it might be wise to use this as a kind of a starting point and then just branch off in your own process. Also, it's probably obvious to totally ignore the placeholder logos. We're just here for the name suggestions. When someone works full time for themselves, they likely realize just how important time is. It's probably your most useful asset. And so as a designer, I'm always trying to save time and look for ways to save more time. And the next tool generates profile pictures for you just at one click. Just upload your image and away you go. I'm not too sure how generic these are gonna be. And by that, I mean, it has a new category here but you might end up coming across someone else online who has the same background as you do in the future. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Recently, Midjourney had an epic upgrade, and it's pretty insane what it's capable of as of January 2023. And as a graphic designer, I personally use it to generate backgrounds for designs, elements for my thumbnails, and also to create the base for mockups. And again, simply, it just saves loads of time. Sure. I could spend time loading up my camera settings, creating the perfect shot and backdrop, take multiple different shots from different angles, then change the levels and the lighting in Photoshop, and then finally, I'll have a base for my mock-up ready. Or I could type in some prompts into Midjourney, 
This is the power of AI, and it's the current world that we live in. And that brings me on to my personal thoughts about the design world in 2023 and beyond. Firstly, some people suggest that mid-journey is art theft. Well actually, I did some research into this and this is what I found. No images are stored or copied with mid-journey. The images, which anyone could find on Google Image Search, were used to teach the computer what objects and art styles look like, rather than totally ripping off the works. Essentially, the algorithms learned various different styles instead of actually using the works. This is what I managed to find on the subject, and if you actually have different evidence or opinions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. But there is something else that is quite important about this. The evolution of artificial intelligence and machine learning is accelerating at lightning speeds. I'm sure you can see it too. The technology is truly out of the bag at this point and there's just no going back. If that is the case, which it is, there's nothing I or you can do to change that fact. Instead of being angry and frustrated, it's probably time to learn how to use these tools and leverage them to make more money and to get to where you want to be as a designer. Take for example this guy here. He used chat GPT and Midjourney to generate and publish a children's book in just two days. Sure, the illustrations are pretty different on each page and each example, but this is just the start of this technology. Think about ways that you can use these tools to save time and to make money. Because this is 2023 and this is the current state of the world. I've still yet to find an AI that can create killer typography layouts and which understands complex layouts but I'm sure it's going to happen one way or another. And also, I actually think there's always going to be a need or a market for human-made design. The likelihood is that the brands who want to hire people who are human designers will pay more for that, but there'll be less of those designers. But yeah, instead of seeing the current situation as being negative, try and see the positives in it and then use it to your advantage. And if you want to learn some other design techniques that will truly leverage your designs, just click that video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.